How's it going YouTube? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video and in today's video I'm going to be remaking a classic of mine. Now if you've been around on my channel for a while you could probably tell that my video quality has risen from like unregistered hypercam 2 to where it's at now which is probably not going to age well because probably in like five years I'm going to have like a red camera that's going to be top-notch quality. The background and lighting situation is probably going to be better but I digress. So this old video that I made that has since been privatized is geolocating an IP address with a printer. Now it sounds pretty interesting because it is. Uh, however, I will say the actual use case of it is pretty unlikely. However, it's a pretty, I guess, interesting way of chaining different technologies to get an end result. So I'm going to be using a couple technologies today. I'm going to be using Shodan as well as a website called Wiggle.net, uh, which if you don't know, that is a word driving database with a bunch of cool stuff on it, aka just a bunch of wireless networks that people have mapped out, uh, which you can actually watch a video up here on how to get set up with war driving. Um, so the scenario for this, because I want to give that before I actually get into the technical specifics of it, Let's say that you are a military, you work for a military or, you know, whatever, and you're getting a, a DDoS attack from uh, an IP range. So this giant IP range is doing a, a DDoS attack. You know, this is my TV pinger. Well, you go ahead and take that network range. Let's say it's a slash 16 network range and you search that on Shodan. Um, you, you parse through the results and you find something uh, like a printer that's online. It's fairly easy to access a printer. You more than likely don't need credentials actually uh, for some printer models. I'll show you what you can do from there. So let's get onto my screen. So like I said, um, we are going to be geolocating an IP address with a printer. Um, now, I kind of explained the use case for this, but this honestly won't apply to many people, but it's still kind of interesting and kind of a nice technique to put in your pocket if you ever needed it. So like I said, you're getting a DDoS attack or you know whatever sort of attack from an IP range and you search that on Shodan. And um, yeah, so like a military use case for this would be, um, you know, you identify an IP address with an exposed printer online. Uh, you go through its configuration, you're able to locate exactly where that printer is located and you can then launch a kinetic attack against it. Fun stuff. So I'll show you what you do. Um, so let's say hypothetically we are getting a DDoS attack or a cyber attack from the IP space 140.142.0.0 slash 16. Um, and we search that on Shodan and we're like, oh, HP color printer. Let's go ahead and log in because squeaky ass chair. Because uh, HP, for whatever reason, did not ship products out with any credentials. Usually, there's like admin credentials, um, but for like these, they don't have credentials. So let's go on one. So we'll go to the HP Color Laser Jet admin portal. All I did was just click on it and got in. Um, some printers, they don't have wireless capabilities. So again, this is a very unique use case. Just pocket it. Just FYI, it's more of entertainment. Um, but we're in here. So let's go to wireless configuration. What this is going to do is going to scan the IP or uh, the wireless networks around it. So before when it's doing that, so this is the 131. So we'll click here. So Shodan kind of gives us like a general idea of where it's at. I mean, honestly, I don't even, Park City, what? Yeah, this isn't even correct. Like if I look up like IP address location, so like it tells us like, okay, it belongs to the Washington Autonomous System. Um, it gives us coordinates, but like, again, like it's in the middle of nowhere, but we are going to find exactly where it's at. Okay, so we scan networks. We got University of Washington. Annie's Wi-Fi network, EDU Rome, Matt Long's Wi-Fi network, and IPD Tech IT. So there's a website called Wiggle.net where it will allow you to search uh, wireless networks and get you coordinates to them. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through these and pick one that would be 
you know, kind of unique. Well, I could tell you that um, University of Washington, there's probably a ton of those out there, uh, at least on campus. So we know where University of Washington is. That doesn't really interest us. We want to find close to the building as possible that this device is in. So Annie's Wi-Fi network, that one, that we could try that one, has a strong signal. We have EDU Rome, again, that one might work. Matt Long's Wi-Fi network. So let's try Annie's Wi-Fi network. We'll go to Wiggle and we will type that in. Mmm, looks like people have. And there's actually a, ton, <laughs> a good amount of them. Uh, 700, or sorry, 673 networks. But don't let that fool you because you can see the maps on all of them. We know where University of Washington is. It's this big campus, big old campus. So we know where we're looking. We have a general idea. I mean, you can see a general idea when you look up the IP in WA. So we'll, we'll put, we'll leave Annie's network, put that aside. We're gonna look at Matt Long's Wi-Fi network. Let's see what that results into. So Matt Long's. Oh, we got one result, map. Ding, there we go. Oh yeah, University of Washington. So there is a satellite office. You see it right there. So interesting. So it's gonna be, uh, do they got a satellite view? Satellite view, satellite view. There we go. Of course, it's like the worst image quality. So it's right off Mercer and Mercer and whatever street this is right there. The building is right in this little spot right there. So for military uses, if hypothetically you wanted to find the exact location of this IP address or this IP range, there you go. There's your target. So anyways, classic video. I know. Anyways, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoy content like this, please hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. I am also, I am, I just purchased Hue Lights. So they'll be like in the background, like illuminating my badges um, and stuff. I want to, I want to make my videos higher quality, maybe get a different lens, maybe get like a lighting setup in here. Who knows? Oh, I, I could, what the f was that? I could explore other ideas um, as far as that goes. So anyways, that is it for this video. Y'all take care. Goodbye.